Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. We have a new version of Komodo Internet Security, so time for another test. This will be the usual automated test with the help of the script, and we will be using default settings. That means the sandbox is going to be enabled and the HIPS is going to be disabled. Keep in mind Komodo is a solution that uses a combination of zero-day components to provide protection against malware, part of which is whitelisting. My policy is going to be we will not enable HIPS because that is disabled by default, but we will use the containment. Let's check that the application is up to date and then we can get started with phase one of the test. It says suspicious file found malix.py, which is the script I'm using to run the malware. That's behavioral detection in action for you. going to run inside container, but keep in mind that since you can get alerts like this for legitimate applications, I'm only going to consider these as a partial block. Phase 1 is complete. We have a final proactive detection of 79.45%. This reflects Komodo not having very good signatures. Keep in mind the proactive detection does not include things like the sandbox because the malware still manages to execute. The malware removal rate is 70% and it seems we're still getting alerts for the threats that are being processed. So I guess we'll have to wait for a second opinion scan to tell us how we did in Phase 1. Hitman Pro seems to have found two pieces of malware, but these are in VT root. The original payloads were probably sandboxed, and these are just uh, files that are harmless, not active on the system. I am going to consider this a pass for phase one. By the way, the samples I'm using in this test are the same samples I used in the previous review of Norden Security. These two videos were essentially made on the same day, even though the uploads may have different timelines. Anyway, let's proceed to phase two. We are at the end of phase two, and Komodo has managed a really good proactive detection in this phase of 91.5% and a malware removal rate of 90.3%. Pretty good stats. We do have a lot of stuff running in the sandbox, but I do want you to notice the difference in resource usage. So Komodo seems to be a very light and easygoing AV. 
which is completely in contrast to Norton in the last test, which was hogging up the CPU. It was always at 90% and the AFI was doing a lot of, I guess, backend analysis causing the resource usage to go up. But Komodo seems to be very light. As you saw throughout the test, the test script was the one using more resources. Second opinion scan results are here. Malwarebytes does not detect anything. Hitman Pro, however, does detect a lot of stuff, and Norton Power Razor also found three pieces of malware on the system. A directory, a process, and a startup item. And as you can see, some of these are even classified as active. It seems we do have a hidden file over here, which was picked up by Hitman Pro. And if we try to run it, nothing happens. Let's take a look at this one. And again, it's pretty much the... Um, something's happening. Interesting. So we have a couple of folders, and this folder seems to be created, and then deleted, and then created again. And then we have one malware over here in this folder, which is also hidden. I'm guessing all of these are like one family of malware, and I think what's happening is that the further progress of the malicious payload is kind of inhibited by being put in the sandbox, but the malware is still active and can continue to run on the system trying its malicious operations. I'm not considering it an infected system, but I'm not giving Komodo a clean sheet either. Just because I'm seeing the malware do things right in front of my eyes, which is like, ah, uh, I don't like that. And it is a startup item. So my final thoughts on Komodo Internet Security. It's a powerful tool, great for some users maybe, but not really the ideal solution for everyone. A lot of how it performs is user dependent. A lot of the new in the wild malware is not detected by Komodo. So I have like mixed views on this one. Personally, I kind of like it, but I could be biased because the tests go through so nicely and smoothly with Komodo. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. The test results will be on the website, thepcsecuritychannel.com, so check that out. Like and share, don't forget to subscribe and consider supporting me on Patreon. This is Leo, thank you for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.